Hey security researcher here, thanks for checking out my video. Today we're going to talk about accurate cell phone tracking without GPS. I'm going to describe how the network itself can be used to track your phone with an accuracy comparable to civilian GPS. Okay, so let's start with the basics. This is a cell phone tower. Uh, you may have seen these things around before. Um, depending on who put it up and who made it, it might look a little bit different, but this is the typical cell phone tower. Um, this is also a cell phone tower. Uh, sometimes municipalities will require that the tower is made to blend in with its surrounding environment. Now, it might be hard for you to discern, but see if you can figure out which one of the uh, trees in this picture is actually a cell phone tower in disguise. Seems like a waste of money to me. So at the top of every one of these towers, you'll see this. It's a triangular object with rectangular objects mounted to it. This is the actual cell phone antenna array. Those white rectangular boxes that are mounted vertically are actually cell phone antennas. The tower itself is not the antenna. It's just the structure to get those antennas up high enough so that they can do their job efficiently. Now, traditionally when we talked about cell phone tracking, uh, or signal tracking, we used a term called signal triangulation, and it required that you had three different antennas uh, to accurately determine the distance that a signal origin was from any one of those three antennas, and then you could get a pretty good fix on where that signal was originating from. Well, because all of these towers have so many antennas mounted on them, uh, and if you saw in the first picture, they might be slightly turned, there's a tr technique called uh, signal multilateration. That's the new buzzword that you should be thinking of, not triangulation, but signal multilateration. And it uses the various antennas that are located on a tower to accurately determine your location from that tower. So if you were a really bad artist and you wanted to do an overhead view of that tower, it would sort of look like this. Um, this is our cell phone tower for the rest of this conversation. You're going to see a lot of little triangles and circles. The coverage area of that tower would look something similar to this. This is what the industry calls a cell. And when you have many towers over a geographic area that have interconnected cells, you get what's called a cellular network. And a radio telephone that operates within a cellular network is called a cellular telephone or cell phone. Um, for the rest of this talk, our cell phone will be represented as this bright orange little pill of ibuprofen. It stuck out well and it was small enough to work, so this is now our cell phone. So because each antenna only has so much bandwidth, um, the way the cellular networks manage all of this stuff is they require your phone to check in at regular intervals. These intervals are approximately every three to seven seconds. Um, if you have a lot of apps on your phone, it might check in more frequently, but on average, it's about every three to seven seconds. So as soon as your phone checks in with an antenna uh, on a tower, I know that you're within the coverage area of that tower. That coverage area has a radius of five miles and a diameter of approximately 10 miles. So I know that you're within five miles of that antenna because you've shown up on one of the uh, antennas that's mounted on the tower. If you're on side one of the triangle and that side faces north, I know you're on the north side of that tower. So I can start to shrink down where in reference you are to the cellular tower itself. So I know that you're on the north side of Tower 1 because Antenna 1 on Side 1 on Tower 1 has picked up your phone. If you add a second tower and you're on Tower 2, Side 2, and Side 2 faces south, I have a really good idea of where your phone is located in time and space. If there's additional antennas that are mounted slightly askew of the original set, I can get even more accurate with just those two towers themselves. Once you add a third tower, I know exactly where your phone is when it beacons because the computers that manage the network can pick up the slight millisecond variations in signal transmission times. So I have a really good idea between all of those towers where your phone is actually located. 
And why this is important to you and, and what this actually means to you, I'll explain in this graphic. So let's say you're on a road and you're coming back from a fishing trip. And you're coming from an area that has no service and you're heading into an area that has service. Um, you pick up the first tower. Now, because I know where the towers are located in reference to the road, I'm pretty confident that you're on that road. But this could be you walking around. Again, because these towers are everywhere, anytime your phone is in communication with a tower, it can be accurately located. So as you drive down the road, you pick up a second tower. Now, again, I have a really good idea where you are in time and space. I know you're on that road. I know you, which side of the antennas are picking you up. And so as you continue to travel on, you'll pick up more antennas and on more towers. And the, the location becomes more and more precise. Um, you'll get further away from a tower, but you'll pick up a new tower. So again, I know what direction that you're traveling in. I can probably even tell you how fast you're traveling as you move through the field of antennas. Um, this is really the basis of cellular tracking. It has nothing to do with GPS. Yes, your cell phone can be located using GPS, but really truly GPS is not necessary for your cell phone to be located. These videos are not intended for the criminally minded. This is education. Uh, it is not uh, intended to improve your skills as a criminal. Please, if you are a criminal, continue to do the stupid things that you do, uh, including uploading images of your crime on Facebook, uh, preferably associated with your Facebook account, uh, preferably with full-on facial shots, high resolution. Uh, please put your name on the image. Um, please include some details of your crime that only you, the criminal, will know so that we all know how awesome you are. And so it'll be that much easier for the authorities to locate you and remove you from society so that the rest of us are that much safer. If you found value in this information, please hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned because there is more fun to come. Uh, next video we're going to talk about stingrays and MC catchers. I am security researcher and I appreciate the last 8 minutes and 30 seconds of your life.